we have two voices in our mind. There's that one voice that we love to hear. It's that soft motherfucker that says, sleep the fuck in. It's okay. Well, there's another motherfucking voice that wakes you up in the middle of the night. It's that demon voice that whispers in your fucking ear that says, get up, motherfucker. You're not good enough. You gotta work it harder. You haven't put enough time in. It's that voice you wanna run away from. It's that voice you don't wanna fucking hear. But guess what? It's that voice you need to fucking listen to. People put out goals, dreams, and aspirations and what they want to accomplish. But you very rarely hear people say what they're willing to sacrifice in order to make it happen. They'll tell you the goal, the dream, the aspiration. They'll tell you they want to be elite. They'll tell you they want to be great. But they're not going to say, I'm going to stop going out on Friday night. They're not going to say, I'm going to sacrifice and I'm going to stay late. You're not getting up when you're supposed to get up. You procrastinate, but you let you slide. I don't hang with people who can only get up when they got something to motivate them. That's not somebody I want to hang out with. I want to hang with somebody, I don't care what the circumstances, I don't care what the situation. You can put it on your back and you're like, let's go. Are you hearing me? You're not at it, dog. You got to stop telling yourself that you're doing enough. You have to do more. In life, it's never enough until you feel this overwhelming feeling of sh man. I'm out working the crowd. I'm out working everybody. I'm doing more. Once you get there, that's when you fucking know you've done enough. You got to do your best work when you're the least motivated. So those days you don't want to do it, you got to second the f*** up and do it. At some point in your life, give every single thing you got. A true dog mentality is not enough you made to the NFL. Be the f***ing MVP. It's not enough you made a 5K. Win a 10K. It's not enough you became a doctor. Be a better doctor. It's not enough you lost 50 pounds. Go out there and do something with it. Never do the bare minimum. Be different. Try to be 10% better than you were last week. So if you're running 30 miles a week, run 33. If you're swimming 500 meters, swim 550. You ain't the only one doing what you're doing. And there's some kid, and right now, he's trying to take your spot. So just when you felt like you did that last rep and your muscles are saying, I can't do no more reps, you said, I, yeah, you got to do one more. Because right now, while you quitting, you might be doing five more. While you quitting and giving up, while you saying, all right, I did enough, it's time to rest, he might just be getting his own. There's always someone out there working harder than you. I'm haunted by that motherfucker. Know that that someone out there is willing to forgo personal desires and comforts, forgo sleep, forgo whatever it takes to be better, to be the best. A lot of us have that person out there. There may not be a name or a face to him, but he exists. You make sure in life when you think about that person, you make sure they put a name and face to it. You make sure the name and face is yours. You do the haunting. Get in somebody's head. Own space. If you're not willing to do it every single day, you're not going to beat the man that's doing it every single day. I'm not the best, but they have not outworked me. I'm not the best. I'm a beast. And oftentimes when you're going up against other beasts, sometimes they just want it more than you want it. They're not more talented than you. They just know what they're out there for. You got to find something within, and that's got to push you, and that's got to drive you. And when you find your why, you find a way to make it happen. In all times when you want to quit, you make sure you remember all those times, hours, and days you sacrifice to do the best. 